guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, big news, uh, we're upgrading electronics in the boat. Um, right now there was some sales on the Garmin 126 SV uh, fish finders. I got uh, one for the front, one for the back. And this will just be an, uh, an unboxing to see what we're getting uh, to try to figure out how we're going to install these on the boat, uh, how we're gonna make our brackets and, and wire everything up. So yeah, so uh, obviously a pretty nice box here. These are 12 inch units, so it's a good size. Let's see what we got. A little bit like Christmas. <clears throat> All right, well we got the, the cover. Seems pretty sturdy as they usually do. Then we got the, the heart of it all. All right, this is where uh, where it's all gonna happen. Uh, 12 inch screens, looks like a real nice, uh, nice unit, so. All right, looks like we got some instructions. Here's a nice template for uh, those that are able to flush mount the unit. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to. Um, the RT-188, I think the unit's seven inch uh, Lowrance and it's nowhere near this big, so I don't think I'll have the room, so I'll probably have to make a bracket. And we've got another box inside the box. Put that to the side. Okay, looks like we got some goodies in here. This looks like something to do with mounting, I'm not really sure. But we'll figure it out once we do the install video. Looks like we got a power cable. Some hardware. Some felt uh, stickers. This probably has something to do with flush mounting it. We got a nice bracket here. Yeah, one thing that's nice about the Garmin units is that on the bracket you have all your ports to wire it in and then your unit just clips on and off and makes its final connection right on the bracket. So that's actually really nice. Um, that way if you need to take off your units, you know, in case you're concerned that somebody might steal or whatever, um, it's really easy to do. And we got a bag of goodies, which is probably mostly the transducer stuff. Yeah, that's how it is. This is uh, what you'd use on the bottom of your trolling motor. So the contour kind of matches. And then they'd give you a band clamp so you could uh, attach it to it. All right, some instructions for the transducer. A template to mount it on the, the boat itself. All right, this is uh, the bracket you would use to mount it on the back of the hull. So that, that's gonna work pretty good and some hardware with it. This 
this is the other part of that same bracket. This is the actual part that will mount right to uh, the boat itself with the hardware, of course. This is uh, some sort of keeper or something like that that I'll have to figure out, probably to hold the cables in place. Pretty sure this is the piece that you know when you come out of your your boat uh you know the body that it's a nice clean look all right and then the transducer itself is in here yep so that's where transducer looks like they give you quite a bit of cable not sure if they give you a length, but I would imagine it's probably close to 15 feet. So that's it. So we got some work to do to install it. Um, I am going to try to make my own bracket off the console, um, but we'll see. We'll see how that plays out and what I can make work. Um, if it comes down to it, then I'll just buy something that is already out there. So. Um, and on the front, we'll probably uh, figure that out too. Uh, I might get a bracket that raises it up, but uh, that'll be for the next video. Um, I just wanted to kind of see what we have in the box and uh, start coming up with a plan to, to make it all happen. Well, thanks guys for joining me. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Mm -hmm.